Well, I think that when you see Mamma Mia 1, there are stories that you think, wow, you know, that could be elaborated on a little bit. So uh, we thought it would be a good idea to show our beloved characters in a uh, younger time and when the story of Mamma Mia 1 actually took place. And with that, we also have a story that is all about them, the original cast who was with us and what's happened to them in their lives. And both of those just kind of came together in kind of a nice way. The ABBA back catalog is so full and rich that uh, there are songs that you don't know, which are incredible. Um, there are songs that were huge hits internationally and maybe not so much in the U.S. for whatever reason at that time. And then there are songs that we didn't use in the first picture. And so I feel it's a really good combination of songs you know, songs you don't, um, songs you may kind of known, and you're going to enjoy all of them. It's just really a, a beautiful musical landscape that Benny and Bjorn uh, have uh, laid out for us and we take full advantage of it. And to think that we have Cher singing Fernando, that that combination got put together on Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, just, just warms my heart. It's awesome. Joy made people feel good. And uh, that was that was really the secret sauce within Mamma Mia, is that um, it's its own kind of fun.